fast travel to Springvale and let's go to Mega Megaton, was it? Let's, let's actually get started with the main story. Because <laughs> that was a crazy side quest. Got off track just a little bit. I'm also not sure if getting power armor this early on will make everything else like super easy. I hope not. I hope I didn't just ruin the experience for me, but either way, we're cooking. And that was the that was some crazy DLC. What the hell? Welcome to Did I do that? Megaton. Welcome to you too, sir. Another newcomer. Hey. Name's Lucas Sims, town sheriff, and mayor too, when the need arises. I don't know hmm. why, but I like you, boy. Something tells me you're all right. So welcome to Megaton. Just is the armor. you need something. And it's kind of spiffy. Calamity Jane. Pleasure to meet you. Friendly and well-mannered. I think we're going to get along just fine. You treat my people nice, and you're welcome to stay as long as you'd like. All right. I'm glad we understand each other. Now, is there something I can help you with? Looking for my father, middle-aged guy. Maybe you see him. I could use some directions around town. Area. Nope. Sorry. I got enough fires to put out in this place that I don't have time to keep tabs on every visitor. I'd ask around town. Okay. Sounds good. Mind your manners now. I will. I will. Hello. Hi. You looking to trade, stranger? Check out Crater Side Supply. If you need to buy something, Moira up in Crater Side Supply can help you. Watch you got out. it. Yo, I'm starving this cow, Brahmin. Is that his name or is that what they're called? I get some clinic. Hello. Don't even think of breaking into that. What? I'm Doc Church, and I run this clinic. Now, before you go asking me for help, you'd better know the rules. Rule one: Don't bother me. If you do bother me, you better be damn near dead. I'm busy enough taking care of people I actually like. Follow my rule. I'll keep you patched up. I'll keep getting paid, and we'll get along just fine. <laughs> okay. Uh, looking for my father. Boy, are you bothering me? Cause I think we talked about what happens when you bother me. Okay. Try to be careful. My bad, I guess, for asking questions. Women, God. That can't be good standing, buddy. Is this they Megaton's ver version of Jesus? Hey! Now, I know I've never seen you in Megaton before. Let me guess. Just passing through, right? We get people trying to settle down here all the time. You don't look like the type. Anyway. Hmm. Father? Oh, man, you're looking for your dad? That is so sweet. Did he run out on you when you were a kid or something? Our parents died when we were kids. My brother Leo, he's the oldest. He raised my brother Andy and me. It was hard on him, but we turned out okay. But God, you don't want to hear about that. I'm sorry, but I haven't seen your dad. <laughs> Way to make this about you. Have, have you seen my father? Him. No, but let me tell you about how my father abandoned me and my brothers. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Come back if you need something. Sounds good. And drink the waters of the glow. What's happening here? Ancient weapon of war, Megaton Jesus. Who have we here? Could it be a new addition to our humble little community? Dear child, welcome. Welcome to Megaton. I am Confessor Cromwell, prophet of Atom and father of the undying glow. Please, child, come to the church anytime, anytime at all. Okay, have you seen my father? Many of the transient visitors 
end up at one of Megaton's seedier establishments. I suggest you speak to Colin Moriarty and continue your search there. Thank you, Mr. Jesus, sir. I wish you well on your path. Understood. You want something? Hello? You guys aren't important enough to have names, so I don't need to talk to you. <laughs> uh, I can pick that. Don't want to. You guys have actual names, or are you guys not important? Move! Damn! Bro! Oh my god, y'all just keep getting in the way. Okay. Oh, are you alive? Yes, you are. Anybody important in here? I'm taking your Nuka Colas. I'm taking that steak. Sorry. But not really. Wait, hidden room? Well, there's a third floor too. Oh, sorry. I need those. I get. Didn't... Hopefully. Ah, shit! Who just sits? Are you just are you watching him sleep? Who just sits there like that? Damn, people in this game are so weird. Okay. Let's get out of here. I don't want to stay in that same building as that dude. That's the woman's restroom. I don't think I'm allowed in there. Oh, you have a name. Well, hey there, stranger. I'm Manya. The old coot wandering around here is my husband, Nathan. If there's anything we can help you with, ask me. Don't ask Nathan. He'll just blabber at you about the damned enclave all day. Mm, okay. I can tell you just about anything you want to know, honey. Megaton's history ain't no secret. Can I ask you about my father? Okay. So, I gotta go speak to Moriarty. Uh, you're not Moriarty. You're a waiter. You're Moriarty? No, you're Nova. Yeah. What's up? How much for a room? Well, for you... A room and some oh, that's not what I meant. 120 caps <laughs> that, up front. That, that's not what I meant. Time out. Okay, then. Just looking for my dad. Don't need... I don't have any mommy issues. Just looking for my father right now. Yeah, I remember that man. I saw him talking to Moriarty. It's hard to forget handsome men like that. Look, sweetie, I love to spend some time with you, but I need to find my dad. <laughs> I think the first one is. Hmm. I'd love to spend time with you. Okay, I didn't too. think that's what that's Look, not what uh, I meant. I can help you. Get into the back office of this place. Moriarty keeps a terminal there. Everything you want is inside the terminal. Here's the password to it. Too bad you're so young, kid. I could teach you some stuff you'd never forget. <laughs> I am looking for my father. Stop trying to smash me. Take care of yourself, hon. It's the same damn thing. I told you, Who Gob, you? it ain't the radio. Gob. Hey, smooth skin. You need something? Smooth skin. Drink, maybe. Anything? Anything at all? Uh. Wait. You're not gonna hit me? Yell at me? Not even berate me a little bit? No, I... Well now, that's a surprise. I'm used to every asshole smooth skin in this town giving me shit just because I look like a corpse. I'm glad to see that there are a few worthwhile people around here. Have you seen the Listen, economy lately, buddy? Half the people happen. around here look like a corpse. Everybody's stressed out, don't worry about it. But for you, I'll risk it. Oh, nice, I got some good karma. Oh yeah, I do remember a guy like that. Honestly, I usually keep my head down. I tend to get smacked around if I look customers in the eyes. But talk to Moriarty, he'll know more. All right. Did we take the chance? Do we get Gob in trouble, possibly? 
I kind of need to know about my father. Gob, just hear me out. I was like nice. You once. I wandered into town looking for an escape from this stupid joke of a body I'm trapped in. Now look at me. Very well. Moriarty keeps the computer terminal in the back. On it, he keeps all of the goings on in Megaton. If you can get onto that terminal, I'll bet he has information on your dad. Now get away from me, smooth skin. If Moriarty even suspects I told you this, I'm a dead ghoul. Enclave Station comes in fine. Ah, shit! Galaxy Why does everybody stand so close? Hey. Oh. My, my. Just when I had all but given up hope. My dear boy, I'm very happy to make your acquaintance. I am Mr. Burke. And I you, well, don't care. You are not a resident of this putrescent cesspool and makes you a rather valuable individual. Huh? I find myself enthralled. No. What's up? As you wish. I'm looking to employ an individual with no ties to Megaton, no interest in its future. Megaton is obsolete. The last vestige of a cobbled, desperate past. It needs to go away. Huh? And you are going to see that it does. Oh, I am? No, no. I'm merely a recruiter. I'm not destroying you Megaton. to have the real fun. The undetonated atomic bomb for which this town is named is still very much alive. All it needs is a little motivation. I have in my possession a fusion pulse charge. Once rigged to the bomb, it will be detonated by you at a secure location. Easy money, my friend. I'm good, bro. Now that is a disappointment. Well, if you change your mind, the offer still stands. Why would I hate Megaton? No nothing's happened? Right? Nothing bad has happened. Why I would... I don't recognize you. New in town or something? Yes, sir. I hope by something to do, you mean a job. Otherwise, you want to talk with Nova. Oh. Looking for someone to make a delivery. Why is everybody here trying to... Fuck me. Stop. I'm a good Christian boy. Hey, you're pretty smart for a wastelander. I need you to deliver a message to my family. They live in a small settlement northwest of here. If you bring it, I'm sure my dad will pay you. I'll tell you more if you agree. Please, I could really use your help. <sighs> sure. Great. I'd like you to deliver this message to my family in the Aravu settlement. I haven't heard from them in months, and I'm worried. As soon as you get there, talk to Davis West. He'll be glad to pay you for the trip. Sounds good. Hey, thanks again for doing this for me. It means a lot. Problem? Hmm. Making a move? Jericho, you're a new too. Oh, look, another one of your wasteland assholes. Look here, asshole. I don't like you. Stay clear of me and we'll have no trouble. Hmm. Okay. There ain't much to tell. I used to live out in the wastes. I was a real bastard back then. But I put all that behind me. Oh, uh, well. Doesn't sound like you're very n nice right now. Have you considered? Have you ever considered getting back out there? What? Back out where? I left all that behind me. There's nothing but bullshit out there. Killing, stealing, violence. I'm not that guy anymore. Yeah, doesn't sound too great. Or does it? No, I'm good. Nah, yeah, you're right. Stupid idea anyway. Oh, so you were thinking about it. Come back if you need something. Huh? She was thinking about it. I know in the future. Walter. What do you need? Well, it's no secret that the old water treatment plant is on its last legs. And I'm the only one in town that can keep the damn thing running. I spend so much time up in the plant that I can't take care of the leaks that keep springing up in the pipes around town. 
Now, I don't expect much from strangers, but if you've got the know-how, I need someone to hunt down and repair those leaks. Oh. From the pressure in the plant, my guess is that there are three of them scattered around town. Check along the pipes and the valves, but they might be a bit tricky to spot. Okay. Got I it. Hope you can help. If folks knew how bad it was getting up here, well, I don't know what would happen. I got you. I got you. You've got the caps. I've got your pleasure. Please sit down and make yourself comfortable. Your troubles are a thing of the past. My God, it's you. The little baby boy all grown up. Persistent little bastard, ain't you? Then and now it would seem. It's been a long time, kid. Oh, your daddy passed through here all right. Here and gone. Got what he came for and then left. I'm assuming you'll do the same, correct? What? What? What are you talking about? Is that what your father told you? That you were born in that hole? That he was born there as well? Oh, the lies we tell to those we love. Your father brought you to the vault right after you were born. To keep you safe, you see. I remember it well. You stayed in my saloon after all. That's right. Your father, his brotherhood a steel friend, and you, the suckling babe with nary a tit to suckle. Sorry about huh? your mom. Truly. Ah, but life goes on. Daddy lied. Life's full of little disappointments. And now you're all grown up and wondering where he's gone to. Oh. Ah, I see. You know, I heard about the brainwashing that goes on down there. From some other fella, escaped. Oh, five years back. All hail the overseer. We're born in the vault. We die in the vault and all that other assorted lunacy. Kid, you've got better programming than our own deputy weld. You'd best wise up quick. Wouldn't want anyone taking advantage of you, hmm? Okay. I have a chance to... 72% chance. Did he? Let's go. Well, our time together was brief, but that is the way of it out here. When a bond is forged, little else matters, hmm? Well, he did come through here, but he left. I'm truly sorry, but maybe you can catch up to him. He headed southeast into the city. Said he needed information from those loonies at the station. You know, Galaxy News Radio. What there is of it. Okay. Galaxy News Radio is some loudmouth radio station located in the ruins of DC. Three Dog, the king of that loony bin, keeps yapping about fighting some good fight or something. A bunch of crap. But I suppose if you wanted to know what was going on in the wasteland, that's the place to go. Me, I could care less. Sounds good. Don't let me keep you. Oh, the terminal's right there. I need you to skedaddle, buddy. Scram, even. I need you to go. Looking spree. Ah, oh, shit! Why are you just standing there? <laughs> He's out. He's out of the... Fuck! How are you doing, Walter? Okay, I'm not gonna kill him. I was gonna- I was debating killing him. But I don't want to. Oh. Why is it illegal to sleep in this bed? Okay. Oh. Talk and get the fuck out of my face. What's your problem? What's everybody? What's everybody's problem here? Oh, there's one leak. Leaky pipe two, if I can reach it. And finally, leaky pipe three. Is everybody going to bed? Like every 
everybody's going to bed. This is the perfect time for me to access the terminal. Ooh. So out of nowhere, James came back to Megaton. Since he stayed here before, he asked me where the hell he could get a lay of the land and find out what's going on in the world. I told him about Galaxy News Radio in the ruins of DC and that guy, Three Dog. Then, like that, he was gone again. I remember the first time he showed up almost 20 years ago. I never expected someone to actually want to go or be able to get into a vault, but he must have had his reasons. He had his kid with him, some baby that wouldn't shut the fuck up. <laughs> Normally, I would have kicked someone like that out of my place, but he had a way with words. Then, like that, he ducks into Vault 101, and he's gone for almost 20 years. Nice guy, I guess, but never spends enough caps. See, well, he has a Mr. Burke. This guy is a Class A weirdo. <laughs> One day, I'm wiping down the bar, and the fucker comes from out of nowhere. I didn't even hear the door open. He tells me, He's here to wait for some sort of opportunist to come through. Whatever, as long as he pays for his drinks, he can stay here until that damn bomb explodes in the center of town for all I care. Do we tell him? Ah, my new friend. What can I get you? Some solders are best buried. And I'm a man that can provide all sorts of tools to bury them. Hmm. I can't tell him about... Don't let... I was hoping I'd be able to tell him. Are you just staring at Nova? <laughs> Weirdo. I was hoping I could tell him about Mr. Burke. But now I know he's not lying, right? Now I know that... My father did go to Galaxy Radio Lone, Lone Wolf, whatever it's called. I just wish I could tell them about Mr. Burke. And how much of a weirdo he is. They can tell Officer. Or Lucas Sims. Good to see you. Oh. He said what? Oh, I never did like the look of him. Hmm. Good point. Come with me. You're about to get an education in wasteland justice. Oh yeah. Let's go. Let's see what he what he does. Let him know, Lucas. Let him know. God, you run fast. Wait a second. Bruh, give me a moment. Jesus. How are you that fast? Also, he didn't investigate or anything. He just straight up said, I believe you. Let's go kill this motherfucker. You there. Hey there. Bert, explain your business in Megaton. I'm sorry. Sheriff, what are you hollering? You know damn well what I'm talking about. The bomb. You're trying to blow it up. Have you lost your goddamn mind? Yeah. Sheriff. I'm afraid there's been a <laughs> misunderstanding. Someone has surely been spreading rumors. I'll be sure to address the situation. Personally. I'm placing you under arrest, Burke. At least until I figure out what the hell's going on around here. And I'm afraid I won't be able to oblige your request. Oh. Sheriff, I have pressing matters to attend to. No. Now, step aside. This isn't open to discussion. You're coming with me. Yeah, let him know. Why do you knuckle draggers always insist on doing things the hard way? Very well, Sheriff. Lead the way. Yeah. You killed him! You bastard! Huh? Yeah, I didn't. I wanted. I didn't want to blow up Megaton anyway. They kill Lucas. Guys, come, come down. Tortoise shell glasses. I'll take that silence pistol though. Looking spree. The rest will cost ya. Nova is just unhinged, bro. Two people died. They didn't care. This better be important. I'm a busy man. Yeah, it's a little important, bro. There's two dead people in your salon or in your saloon. Ah, my new friend. Not a care in the world. 
I await our next. Well, may as well check out his place, right? Like, I, I'm not, <laughs> I don't know if that's. That's kind of morbid, isn't it? He tried to save Megaton, then he dies, and I stab the killer, and then I take his key to his house. Probably not the best karma. But you can have cool things in there. Oh, hello. Well, goddamn. You're new, You're right? You're Benji. Name's Leo Stahl. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Yeah. Hmm. Nothing. I'm... I'm not doing anything. Leave me alone. Hmm. Who's in charge around Lucas here? Lucas Sims was the only guy we had to keep people in line. With him gone, I guess Moriarty pretty much runs the show around here. Well, y'all just got over that death real quick, huh? Talk to you later, buddy. Who are you? What were you doing in here? What was going on? Uh, huh? Yeah, what is it? Hey, Walter. Well, I'll be. The pressure's up in the plant. It looks like all the leaks have been fixed. Thank you, stranger. Thank you. You're welcome. But listen, it's only a matter of time before they burst again. And someone like you might not be around to fix them. I'll make you a deal. I'll give you caps for any scrap metal you can bring me. You'll find it all over the place out Ooh. there in the waste. If I have a steady supply of scrap, I can keep the plant running and the pipe should be just fine. We got a deal? Sounds good. Good. This just keeps looking better. Those parts will keep this place running and the town in fresh water. Hurry back as soon as you find some. Sounds good to me. Thank you. I like that. That's cool. I don't like how you were being suspicious. Leo Stahl. Not a fan of that at all. Hi, I'm Maggie. I live with Billy. Billy Creel. Do you know him? He's not my dad or anything, but he takes care of me now. Anyway, I should go. Bye. Huh? Billy does. Have you met Billy? Billy Creel? A long, long time ago, he saved me from raiders. They killed my real parents, but Billy showed up before they got me, and now he's like my daddy, sort of. Okay. Bye, mister. I don't like the sound of that. Oh, yeah, we found Lucas Sims' house. Oh, he had a child. Oh, no. Dad used to say, never mind. Who takes care of you now? Well, with my dad gone, I don't really know. Dad always said that I'd have to learn to watch out for myself one day. You have a lisp. Oh. Sorry. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't even want to take anything. I thought... I thought that there would be some stuff to take because he has a teddy bear, he has guns, I can take these, but I can't because I feel bad, he might need them to protect himself. What is that? It's a weird skull to have there, but... Oh! Bobblehead. Nice. Love that for me. Well, I guess the only thing left to do is to leave Megaton at this point. We got all the info we needed. And now go find dad and go deliver this letter.